What is up everybody, this is your host Superside and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Windows 7 games from Windows 7 on to Windows 8 or Windows 10. Now my, so anyway, so a couple of things. First of all, the story begins with my, because my, I loved Windows 7, my grandparents had Windows Vista and, and whatnot, and you know, you know, and then there's Windows 7, I had Windows 7, and anyway, you know, there were so many good fun games, you know, there was Solitaire, there was Free Cell, there was Hearts and all that, and anyway, with Windows 10, they were gone, it's like, what? So anyway, the, and so anyway, anyway, I tried to find it for them, and I tried to download all these random Solitaires, and after a while, just, because, so, like, some of them had ads, it's like, what? No, no, Solitaire having ads, it's not not okay. Like compared to like the old, you know what? You know you think, oh, what about this? You know, and, and it's just all these random apps and that. It, it, it's just a mess. So anyway, I found an actual website. So I installed this for them in early 2018, and it's it's still working and functioning well. So anyway, don't go to the this. Uh, I don't recommend you go to the Microsoft Store for that. I recommend you go to Google. Okay, so you search up Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and Windows 8. Now there's actually a few different websites that you can get it from, like this one, this one, or this one. This one here. Uh, so yeah, it looks like quite an old website or whatnot. So, but anyway, so as you can see, see, and it's a recent date or whatnot. But it's been downloaded 68,000 times, so it's obviously really popular now. Uh, not that website, the one that's working, and this one here probably works as well. It looks very similar. Anyway, not that one. The one, the one I got it from is that I, I'm, I'm almost certain was from this one here. So this one here. So you, you once you, you've searched up that right, and then you click on this one here. So, and I'll put the URL uh, in the description so you can see that. So that right there you got to search it up and then you come down here and see it's like oh this is the game I remember it hearts it, like it was just hearts is fruit sells he was really free sells brilliant and so they're all great games so, so anyway you come down here and so currently the one that I've got installed at the moment my grandparents is version 2 so that's yeah so yeah I, I don't know anyway we'll click it and hopefully it all works out so yep Okay, so starting download, good, and then so the oh oh there we go. Oh wait, no, that's no not that one. Hmm. Okay. So oh my goodness, see this two million downloads. That is insanely popular. That's insane. Two million downloads, folks. That is crazy. Like the other one had sixty-eight thousand. This one two million. That is just incredible. So I'm just sometimes you then have to find. You have to press download again. I, I hate it how it's even the slightest bit confusing. It should be, see, like this? Nope, that's, you know, it's like, it should just be, see, not that. There we go. Oh, the, see here. Okay, it's it, it's really sketchy. It's like, is this, you know, you think, oh, is it continue here? Is it open here? No, it's not that, not that. So you have to be very careful what you end up clicking on. So anyway, this one here, we'll click this one here, because you don't want to get a virus or anything yet. So this one here is the fine one. So, or you can go, I can put this link as well. So you go to here and then click this. And then it will come here as a zip. So we'll click on this, and then it will open up, open up. There we go. And so... We then see this application, so we want to un un unzip this, so we click here. Now it should appear in your downloads folder. Now in order, so once you've got it in your downloads folder, you know, so this is it here. You click on it with your the left left click, and then you right click, and then you come up to the option up here, which is extract all. So you click that, and then it will show you this. So then we'll click extract, and then it will do its thing, which is pretty quick. And then this is it here. So now we'll double click this one right here. And then it will, and then we'll press yes, and then it will press OK, or you can choose whichever language is most suitable for you. And then we'll wait for it to do its thing, and then we'll have Windows 7 games installed. So it's actually quite a few of them. It has a list of them as, hey, here we go. So Chess Titans, which I played that, for Excel, I played that, Games Explorer, I think that's Finding Games. I played Hearts. I played, uh, did I play Minesweeper? I, I may have, can't remember. And a lot of people won't remember in the comments or comment about Purple Lace. And I, d I, no, I had played Spider Solitaire. And anyway, so, so then you press next. And then you can choose which ones you can, I mean, three. that's a really tiny amount. So I just, you might as well add them all in. So press install, and then it will do its thing. And then click finish. And then it will open this up here. And we'll try and suggest all this other stuff you download. But that you don't, you don't just you're done it, it's installed so then if we come over here to this one right here on the left 
then as you can see some of them have appeared here so if you right click on it and then you click more and then you come over here to open file location so we've, we we right click on one of them because it will be under recently added we hover over more we right click I mean we left click on open file location it will open these here and as you can see these are all the shortcuts to them so you can you can just drag out whichever ones you want so if for example you play free cell you can move it right there or whatnot and if you play for example hearts you move it right there or whatnot, or you can, you can just bring out the whole lot if you want. But you, you know, that's a lot. I don't actually play all those. But anyway, or you can search them up. So you just click the search bar and then just start typing it like free and then it will come up. And so, for example, if we want to play it, we double click on hearts. Oh, that's so nostalgia. So nostalgia. Hey, it has even got my name. Super site. And east, north, and west. And you can rename them or whatnot. Options. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's a wonderful, wonderful, it's so cool because then you can play them all. Now, if you have any questions about how I did that, how I installed it, or just moving stuff around, be sure to ask in the comments. I'll try my best to be as helpful as I can, but I know my grandparents really appreciated the fact they could still play these, and I found finding them on the Microsoft Store was not helpful. Over 2 million other people have, have done what you've done if you're going to download them because, you know, I love those games as well. It, like, yeah, they're just awesome games. They're awesome games. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. And I'll see you next time. See you later.